Hello, so honestly, I made a few mistakes during this glow up video. I went through a series of treatments, very random treatments actually, all in an attempt to glow up because things just weren't looking good for me, especially mentally at one point. So I booked a spa weekend with my best friend and at the end I compared the before and afters and I was quite shook. Hello everyone, hi, it's Millie. Really. We're doing this video again. I tried filming it, but then my car window got smashed into and they stole my bag with my passport, house keys, camera with my SD card in it. Hello from me and my happy face. My car got stolen in the middle of the night. My car window got smashed into a few months ago and now the whole thing's vanished. I'm just not feeling like a baddie right now. In the last video, I got Botox done and I got filler done and I can't go back and get that done again because it's just going to be a little bit too extreme. If you want to see the before and afters of my Botox experience, this was my forehead before and this is my forehead afterwards and it made my skin unreal. You know, when I go on hate forums about myself and I see old, crusty, middle-aged women talking about me saying that I'm a bad influence. I kind of get it now. Uh, subscribe by the way if you haven't already. Apparently 65% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Seriously, if you haven't done it yet, you're a horrible human being. First stage of the glow up is to get my nails redone. They're even worse now. Like, it's so bad. I just bit them all off. It's the same with my eyelash extensions. I end up just pulling them out and getting bored. Like, I can't help myself. £140 these nails cost me. I got them done in Covent Garden and the nail artist is like an actual artist so she's really really good but I could get these same nails up north for £35. It's just like it's crazy. It's wild. Hello, happy next day. Eyelash extension time! I am so excited to get this done because my eyelashes are disgusting right now. They look like short little chodes. I woke up this morning so happy because I looked at my nails and I was like, oh, wow. The place I'm getting my eyelash extensions done, I have never been to before, so I don't know what to expect. I just realized I am quite caffeinated. Oh no, I have makeup on and I need to leave now. I need to leave. What did I do? What have I done? Like I've been punched in the face. You ready? Yeah, already. Said you would love me. Then why she always calling your phone? Said you would love me. But I guess you wasn't sleeping alone. Oh my god! Yes. Ugh, my apartment feels messy again because I've had a smelly little rat staying with me for the past few days, i.e. Kami. Yeah, I went on a sunbed the other day for 12 minutes. Normally that would have been fine, but I hadn't been on in a very long time and my skin really burned. Like, this is my stomach. Oh my god. Oh, it's so painful, like genuinely. Ow! Can you see? Oh my God. Oh, guys, don't do tanning beds, they're not good. I've booked in to get a pedicure done and I'm going in like 20 minutes or so. I get acrylic nails on my big toes. It is honestly quite a spiritual experience when you do that because your feet just look incredible. Like, it's just art. Do you wanna see my feet now? Oh, I kinda don't wanna do this stuff for free though. Oh, do I show toes? Watching this back, I realize how disturbing it actually looks getting an acrylic nail put on your big toe. <laughs> it's still worth it though, still stand by it. I was so annoyed with the color that I chose though, like it just blended in with my skin. I should have just got them white. I needed contrast, you know? Hello everyone. I've been going through a slight mental breakdown the past week or so. Boy problems. You know what I find crazy? The fact that I haven't been in a relationship for like a year, but I've had a lot of relationship issues. Anyway, in conclusion, I hate all men. I'm not actually that mad about it. I feel freedom because I don't want any boy situations in my life right now. I just want to do me. I've booked a hotel for the weekend. My best friend Izzy is staying with me at the hotel tomorrow and we're gonna go to the Brits after party, but like make a whole day of it and use the spa, pre-drink. I'm so excited, I can't lie. I love hotels. I almost forgot my bear and I wouldn't have been able to sleep. Like genuinely, this gives me so much comfort. I love this part. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, I did book city views. Oh, uh, kinda. I guess they are city views if I like stand with my cheek pressed against the window and look right. It's quite small, the room. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It is really nice, but it is also quite expensive, so it's quite a small room to be fair. Now I'm here, I don't really know what to do with my life. <laughs> not Izzy bringing her books, which is. <laughs> 20th century American literature. Do you know who wrote it? I'm so excited. So my professor who leads one don't of my start, classes wrote don't this. Start. He specializes in Anglo-Saxon literature. Does that have anything to do with Patrick Bateman? It does not. So, 
There's a lot of words there. Um, looking incredible. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. I got fat. In all the right places. <laughs> that goes to my brain. <laughs> fat Ed. Fat Ed. <laughs> so Izzy's here. I told the hotel it was my birthday in hopes for a bottle of champagne, but it just didn't work. I got fruit pastels instead. Are you ready for the Ow. spa? Ooh. Ow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, quick little interval. So speaking of glow ups, I wanted to talk to you guys about my skin glow up as of recently. Thank God, thank God. Touch wood. I wanted to talk to you guys about Skin and Me. I love Skin and Me. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I always talk about them. They're a brand that I have worked with for a long time. Their skincare products are just so good, especially for my skin, which is really sensitive. Skin and Me focus on creating powerful and personalized skincare. So when you first go on the Skin and Me website, you're met with a consultation form, which asks you about your skin type, what your skin goals are, and like other questions similar to that. Then at the very end, you upload three makeup, three selfies, and within a few days, your personalized skincare arrives on your doorstep and your personalized skincare products are designed by dermatologists which means you get that expert care without the wait time the main thing i want to talk about is the skin and me daily doser this is the holy grail product in my opinion so once you fill out the consultation online and tell them what your skin goals are you get your own daily doser delivered to you containing active ingredients that work best for you and your skin goals also the concentration of these ingredients will start off really low so that your skin gets used to the products it's so kind to your skin i have really sensitive skin and eczema as well tried and tested and the daily doser gets out the perfect amount for you. You just use it once a day. So you get the daily doser, but then you also have a cleanser and moisturizer, which are really good as well. They all go hand in hand. These don't look used, and that's because they're not. I just got some new ones, but I have been using them for over 10 months now. For me, one of my main skin goals was getting rid of scarring on my cheeks from when I used to really badly break out in high school. I'm pretty sure it's a neocinamide in the daily doser, which is really helping with the scarring because it's not red at all now. I'm really confident wearing no foundation now, which is a really good feeling. Skin and Me is a subscription service, but that means when you run out of your products and you run out of your daily doser, you'll have a new one delivered to your door straight away, so you don't even have to worry about repurchasing. But if you want to pause or cancel your subscription, you can do that at any time. If you go on the Skin and Me website, which will be linked in the description, and use my code, you will get your first ever daily doser for £4.99. I was going to say £5, but you save an extra penny. My code is MillieT4. Even if you're not 100% set on buying anything, just go on the Skin and Me website and fill out the consultation form. Form, you might as well give it a go. Anyway, back to the glow up, it's pending. So we were so close to making it to the pool, but then we saw a bar and got distracted. Not as these hinge notifications coming through. We ordered champagne, but they're kind of taking a while to bring it. There she is. Yeah, everyone here is very judgmental. Izzy said she wants to get drunk and disturb the peace. <laughs> I think I'm entering my whole era again. Not whole era, because I won't actually see with them, but I think I'm entering a it's lost a era. It's more than it is, like, an action. Yeah, right. I'm, like, rebuilding the roster. Real, rebuilding yeah, kind of, the roster. Yeah, it kind of fell apart over the past few months, because I um, wasn't really putting in effort. Yeah. But now, I'm now, rebuilding and it's back and better than ever. You need a roster, you're too sexy not to have a revolving door. A revolving door, and one in, one out. Them. You just stare at them, they stare at you. I think the acoustics in here are great, should we just start acapellaing? Yeah. Who said I can wear my converse? <laughs> Reality echoing. What happens if you like fell in love, love your life, you get pregnant, and he's like refuses to let you breastfeed your own child because he gets jealous because he wants to breastfeed. <laughs> I have two tears for a reason. <laughs> Our champagne came. Why have I got a shot of champagne? <laughs> if this was me, I would fill it to the top and then have another one in the space of ten minutes. Like this is nothing. What? Is he'll make friends wherever she goes. You know that woman's 41 and she has a 23 year old I heard, I heard. What the heck? No, you being like, I'm a feathery baby, you're an Aquarius. What the heck? It's getting louder. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Shut it over here. What? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. The designer, the outfit. Okay, runway girl. What? So spontaneously, I've decided to do something that I'm so excited about. I'm getting teeth gems installed. I'm getting it done professionally, and they're gonna be like Swarovski crystals, but I just don't know what to go for. I feel like teeth gems was like a thing during lockdown, but I'm bringing it back for myself. Because the thing is, I have veneers, so I might as well take full advantage and just 
bejazzle them a little bit. I was gonna save a jazzle, but uh, maybe tomorrow for that one. How cute is this building? Oh, I'm just waiting downstairs at reception to come and get collected. So I kind of messed up and didn't ask before I came here if I would be able to put the gems on veneers. I don't know why that didn't cross my mind. I honestly forgot that I had veneers in the first place. Um, but luckily I didn't get the bottom teeth as veneers. So we're gonna do like a butterfly effect here and then a heart gem here. They won't stick to the top teeth, which is annoying. These are the gem options. There's some like red hearts, which are really cute. Diamonds, squares, stars. I did originally want a star, but it's too big for my bottom teeth. Same with this as well. But yeah, there's so many options. <laughs> So getting tooth gems done is such an easy process. I don't know if it looks like it's painful or anything, but it's not. It's literally just glue on my teeth that they stick the gems to. And I was gassed with the results. It was a shame I couldn't get them on my top teeth, but it is what it is. I love them. I don't want to talk about my eyelashes. Like, I'm so annoyed. Basically, I pulled all of my eyelash extensions out. I don't know why I got bored and I'm in deep regret. I mean, even more regret now because I got them redone yesterday. Had a horrible experience. Cue Snapchat story. I hate them. I think I'm just on edge in general because the whole experience was horrible. The woman opens the door who's doing my eyelashes and because I'm 10 minutes late, or maybe it's because she didn't speak English, I don't know. She opens the door and looks at me and goes, and I'm like, what? Like, hello? I literally am like, hi. We go into the room. Tell me why I'm getting my eyelashes done in a kitchen. I'm in a kitchen. I'm not in a salon. I got catfished. It was horrible. It was a dark, dingy ass room. Anyway, I show her a picture of the eyelashes that I want. I'll put them on the screen here. And she looks at it and looks at me and goes, no. And I'm like, why? And she's like, I can't do that. Long, short, no. What? Why? How? Is it that hard? Anyway, I lay down and at this point I think she's actually gonna stab me in the eye with a tweezer. Like, I'm on edge and my eyes keep doing this. And she's like, stop moving. And I'm like, bitch, I'm scared of you. Anyway, then she puts Ed Sheeran, Shape of You, this horrible, horrible playlist on the TV. Ed Sheeran, Shape of You, Anne-Marie, BB Rexa, Treat You Better, Shawn Mendes on full blast. Ah, oh, it was horrible. I was trying to listen to meditation music and it was just like torture. I've tried to do like a glowy natural makeup look today, but my eyelashes make it look like I have a full on smoky eye. Oh, I, I hate them. I actually hate them. I'm getting my eyelashes removed and redone tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done today. You can't see my hair right now because I'm an egg but I do have hair, I promise. It's all hair. Ew, I look like a 60 year old trucker guy called Gary. You know when they have the gray hair that they put in a low ponytail? So originally I was gonna go for a balayage, but now I'm going for a half head of highlights after speaking to Mario, who's doing my hair. I'm excited to get it all blonde for the summer because look at this state. A bit lifeless, isn't it? Also, look at my Gucci cape. Good Gucci flip flops, but eat your bitch in the sauce. It's a B Guys, I love it. Is it a vibe? I think so. Do you know what I do hate? These eyelash extensions though, they're ruining the whole thing. I haven't been this blonde in so long. Oh my god. Also, I'm about to go and get my eyelashes redone. I just want feathery, wispy lashes and this place I'm going to does them insane. The problem with these eyelashes is that they're the same length as my eyelid, so they just drag my face down. The lashes don't look too bad on camera like this, but like when I look up, I just don't like them, you know? Yeah, they're coming off so easily considering you got them done two days ago. They're just like melting off. I look a little bit different, I think. I've got that holiday tan and my hair is curly. Basically, I recently figured out that for years after my hair's wet, I just abuse it with a hairdryer and then straighten it with no second thoughts. Even when I'm on holiday and I go in the pool, I blow dry my hair straight after. This holiday, I didn't. And I just let it naturally dry. And I started scrunching my hair like this because it looked like it was going a little bit curly. Anyway, it dries like this now, so I have wavy hair. So it's kind of a new me at the end of this video. I'm at a celebrity weight loss retreat right now, going there for a week to see how much I lose for a YouTube video. The video will already be up when you're watching this, by the way. Do you like my bikini, by the way? Don't ask where it's from, because it's coming soon. Guys, this is one of my favorite glow ups to date, just because of how natural it is. Apart from the fake lashes, fake nails, fake lips, fake tits. 
other than that, no, but I'm ending the video the same way that I started it, in a robe, minimal makeup on, apart from lip oil and eyelash extensions, obviously. This might be the most natural glow up of all time on this channel, which is crazy for me. I've gone to town in some of the other videos. <laughs> I hope there's been a change from the before versus after, surely. Did I cheat by using the holiday glow? Maybe. Also, just a quick reminder to check out Skin and Me. The link will be in the description below and don't forget to use my code for a discount. Just if your current skincare routine isn't quite working for you or you want to switch it up a little bit, Skin and Me would be perfect. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you watched the whole thing, let me know in the comments. I'm always so intrigued to know if you guys watched the whole way through. Also, subscribe if you did because if you're not subscribed and you watched it this far, surely you enjoyed the video, right? Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.